for every organism or every cell in that organism needs to maintain a homeostasis condition. What is homeostasis we will come to know at the end of this lecture. One of the way to carry out this is a feedback process taken by that cell or an organism. Feedback inhibition is a part of it which is we are discussing here in this special video. It is nothing but a regulatory process means the process which involves the regulation nothing but a control mechanism. But question is control on what? Feedback inhibition controls the metabolic pathways. In our part second of 8th lecture we have seen how metabolic pathways works where series of enzymatic actions are taken place means uh, we have starting substrate here on which enzyme A shows its action. By showing its action enzyme A produces product 1 and this product acts as a substrate for another enzyme known as enzyme B and by the enzymatic action of enzyme B we will get the product 2. This product 2 will act as a substrate for next enzyme which is enzyme C and by enzyme C action we will get the product 3 and again this product 3 will act as substrate for enzyme D and by the action of enzyme D we will get the final product which will be used by the cell or body for its own purposes. Here you can notice there are series of enzymatic actions. So overall it is known as pathway of reaction. Here you will notice product 1, product 2 and product 3 are known as intermediate products and which can be used for other purposes also. For example, for elaboration we can consider this product 3 can be acts as substrate for other enzyme known as enzyme E and by its action we will get product 4 and this product 4 can be a substrate for another enzyme which is enzyme F and we will get the product 5. So this is nothing but the integrated pathway system we have just discussed here which is a common thing for any cell. Here is a diagrammatic presentation of secondary metabolite synthesis takes place in plant. The integrated pathway photograph shows how different pathways are combined with each other in order to produce products by a individual cell or a plant body. So it's just an example to understand how integrated pathway looks. But imagine these pathways will keep producing the product when it is not controlled. So in such scenario to apply break on such pathways feedback inhibition plays an important role. But question is how feedback inhibition controls the pathways of cell. To explain this we have just discussed the pathway just one minute before that. The final product when reach at certain concentration this final product will stops enzyme A which is the first enzyme involved in this pathway. The binding of the final product to the enzyme A is at the allosteric site of enzyme A. Due to the binding of final product to the first enzyme of the pathway changes the active site of first enzyme which may be the reason why that first enzyme is no longer to able to carry out the enzymatic action on the starting substrate. So in other words we can say that the output of the pathway acts as an input in order to stop the further reaction. Generally there are two types of feedbacks received by the cell. One is negative feedback and other is positive feedback. The negative feedback is kind of inhibitory in action. The product halts or stops the reaction. 
whereas the positive feedback is nothing but the activatory in action where certain molecules not necessarily products the molecules acts as activator in order to induce or to make start that pathway let's discuss this positive and negative feedback by using one example in our body atp are required for every activity first of all everyone knows what is an atp atp is energy rich molecule which includes one nucleoside known as adenosine and which contains three phosphate groups the bond between these phosphate groups are known as phosphoanhydride bonds and these bonds are energy rich bonds the breakdown of these bonds releases energy and which is used for the purposes such as muscle contraction for heart beat for organ movement even your eyelid movement takes place by the energy which is derived by the breakdown of these phosphoanhydride bonds in atp molecules so it is clear that everywhere atp are required so in general sense these atps are prepared by the joining of adp and inorganic phosphorus together adp means adenosine with two phosphate groups and joining the third phosphate group result into the formation of atp and this atp's concentration is maintained in every cell or body to create atp's we need to run the various metabolic processes such as glycolysis which is followed by tca cycle or krebs cycle and finally the electron transport chain so after multiple processes atp's are prepared inside the cell here you will notice that all these metabolic processes which are required to prepare atp comes under the respiratory processes and when atp concentration reached up to the sufficient level that atp concentration stops or inhibits in allosteric fashion to those enzymes which are involved in atp making processes here you can find the negative feedback phenomenon which is one of the type of feedback mechanism and when atps are used these atps after breakdown of phosphoanhydride bond between phosphate groups result into the formation of adp and inorganic phosphorus the breaking of atp into adp and inorganic phosphorus releases energy which is used by the cell for every purposes when we say atp are used that means atp concentration get decreases and the adp concentration get increases this adp concentration when it increases acts as in a positive way and activates those enzymes which are involved in respiratory processes this means the adp concentration acts as a positive feedback agent with this example i hope it must be clear to you how feedback inhibition plays an important role in a cell for controlling the metabolic pathways this study comes under the homeostasis phenomenon it means maintenance of ideal condition or standard condition of cell or a body i hope you have learned something from this video For more updates from Life Sciences Studies channel please subscribe by just clicking on this icon and don't forget to click on bell icon so you will get notification about new updates of the channel thank you very much for your time we will meet soon in our next lecture which is related with the enzyme mechanics